Today we've got new Titleist T-Series irons. We're going to compare them together. We've got the T100S especially today. We're going to look at that compared to the T100 and T200. Golfers, if you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and a comment and also subscribe to our channel. We've got a bunch more club comparisons like this coming your way. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are outside today on the driving range uh, comparing some new irons. We've got the Titleist T-Series irons, T100, T100S, and T200. Um, it's going to be a good one because I think there's the ability for combo sets between T200 and T100S um, that I think will be a pretty popular option here the rest of 2021 and 2022. Um, Thomas, we've tested these before. Um, this is kind of you know, we've had these for just a little bit of time here, but we know, you know some of the tech, we know some of the fitting uh, capabilities as well. Uh, what do you think about the T-Series first, and then we'll kind of get into maybe what we'll see today in this test. Yeah, so we finally have the T100S to test. We didn't have that originally with our first videos, but for that club, with it being a little strong lofted and having maybe just a little extra forgiveness behind it as well, a little less spin. Mm -hmm. So those players that may have a very steep attack angle the spin rate will probably drop and mm -hmm. they'll pick up a little bit more distance. So those players looking for a little bit more distance out of a very good player's iron. Yeah, that's what we noticed right away in our first original swing report video. The T100, as you noted a couple times, it looks more and more like a blade every year, at least from a dress. It's very thin top line, compact shape, um, and that forge construction as well. It gives you a buttery feel. So uh, I love that satin look as well. Ex exactly. Yeah. It used to be that chrome kind of shiny reflective uh, look to it. Now it's more satin, kind of more reserved. And then you mentioned the uh, kind of extra bit, bit of forgiveness and uh, juice behind the T100S. So there is the two degree stronger loft. There's also a, a, a muscle channel in here um, inside the cavity that is kind of actually tough to see right away. You have to dig deep and, and investigate a little bit. But that's another added source of power inside the T100S. So that'll be something that we'll look forward to today in the testing. So Thomas, um, let's talk about this test today, how we're going to hit the shots and what we're we looking for here. Yeah, it'll be the T100. T100 has 34 degrees of loft. T100S, it's a little stronger. It's two degrees stronger at 32 degrees of loft. And I wanted to include the T200. T200, it's just a little bit weaker in loft than the previous mm -hmm. T200. Now, yeah. 31 degrees of loft. So I know you mentioned to me, talk, you talked to your Titleist rep recently, T100S, T200 with uh, their staff players has been very, very popular with regards to like a combo set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and plus they also have the T200 is available now. They're going to make it kind of a utility option. So you can get to the long iron of T200 as a utility iron. So that's another way to kind of look at that club. And it is juiced that way. It's a hollow body, but some tungsten waiting in there, but also slim enough to provide the workability too. So um, Thomas, it's a great day to hit some golf balls. You want to hit some range and, and uh, test these out? Let's hit some shots. That was really thin. I noticed. <laughs> Look at that, no turf interaction at all. That was hit well. That one should be a little further, that was plush. Bit of a draw there showing up. It's trying to turn over. Yeah, it's fairly straight. All right, yeah. So you mean this? That's T two hundred five shots, and I noticed you know the, the ball wasn't quite drawn back. I think maybe that you're used to with uh, your gamers. Um, so all of them actually ended up just right of center. Okay. And then if I were to look at you know some of these numbers really quick. Shot one, I hit thin, so I'm curious to see how close that is compared to the other four shots. You kind of, it's probably a loss of eight carry yards or so okay. um, on average. Yeah, about eight yards of carry on average. Um, and then total was about six yards okay. on average lower. So I mean, it is kind of also bring down the average, so that's worth noting, but. Yep. Um, so you, you know, it's, everything is a little bit right of center. You spun it just under 6,000. Carry on average was 189, 195 total. So, 
Um, and I was just, again, we were commenting on the sound. It was just a little bit loud. Um, and I think once we hit these, the T100 and T100S, we're gonna really see a difference there. Yeah, definitely it's, it's loud. It's really solid off the face, but it is quite significantly loud. Not clicky, but just, right. just loud. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of feedback on the audio there. So, yeah. um, all right, T100, let's try that, and then we'll get to T100S and see how things are different. Sounds good. Definitely a different sound. Mm -hmm. It's just a soft kind of. It's a lot soft. It's like softer. a soft thud, where it was almost like a really louder kind of clash with the T200. Yep. Felt incredibly good. Just yeah, so that, that last shot was not a very good shot. That was a pull, but you mentioned. It's funny because the carry spin. distance is a total of three difference, three yards of difference in carry distance. Interesting on that. Yeah. Well, you, you noticed by my reaction there, that wasn't a very good shot. Yeah. Sometimes when you have a club that's too strong lofted and you hit that pull shot, you can get that fly left. Yeah. So that's the advantage of playing a more compact design like the T100 mm -hmm. over a game improvement iron is you, your misses are going to be pretty close regardless of distance. Right. Right. Especially, well, especially if you make, still make the relatively solid contact. Um, the, the forgiveness aspect comes in with these irons where it's you're not going to get the jumper, especially on a pull shot like that one. Yep. Um, where those sometimes with a you know a really kind of juiced up club, maybe like a TE 300 for example, that thing might go an extra 15 yards on you. All right. Yeah. No, I'm uh, I'm glad that did not. That was flush too. Yep. It was a little heavy. All right, a little bit heavy. It's on. It's directly online, so we got that going for yeah, us. But it might that's be... probably about ten yards shorter. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. That would carry one seventy point seven. Okay. So. All right. Well, Thomas, that's T one hundred. Now. We talked a lot about the sound of T200. How about the feel difference between T100 and T200? It's significant. Yeah. It's really significant. T100, buttery, uh, soft. You can, just, you can just feel it off the club face. You just know what it's going to do. Yeah. Uh, T200 was just solid, a little bit louder. And uh, it just seemed like it was flying a little bit higher and it's not spinning maybe mm -hmm as much as the T100 was. Yeah, yeah, so I wanted to bring up the the fact that kind of, I think with both clubs, you really had one that you really didn't hit good, like it was just kind of a miss hit, right? Yeah. So let's take both of those let's two Let's take out. those out. I'm gonna try to find which ones those are, so let's. It would have been shot, shot one with the T200 and shot four with the mm -hmm. T100. Yep, so we'll take those out and then we'll kind of collapse things here. And we'll see, and you can see now on the map, so if I were to, Look at this map here now. You can see the difference. I mean, the circles don't even intersect at all in terms of both the distance and the direction there too. So um, you have basically after that, you have about 11 yards, well, just under 11 yards difference in carry distance, what you'd expect from three degrees difference in loft. Yep. Um, and then you can also see it more of a tendency to hit, kind of have more draw, uh, more workability with the T100 versus T200. Yep. And that's because that's my typical shot shape is a yep. little bit of a draw. Now, if someone's typical shot shape may be a little more of a fade, you might see a little more fade workability with the T100 versus right. T200. Yeah, so kind of your, your go-to shot shape, whatever that is, or whatever maybe your, your problematic miss is, curve-wise, it's going to be exaggerated playing a club like T100 versus T200. Yep. Um, now, the T100S. Um, before hitting, just want to get kind of quick what you'd expect. So get, just to get these numbers out there, 180.3 average for the T100 on, car on carry distance, and T200 was 191. So where do you think T... 100S will fall. I mean, I think it'll fall in between the two of them. Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest difference I'm going to focus on is spin rate. So can you tell me what the spin rate was with mm -hmm. the T100 and T200? Yeah, T100 was 6400. T200 was 5857. Okay. So right around probably 6000 maybe? Yeah, I'd like say it'd be kind of close to about 6000. Okay. Yep. All right, well, let's get to it here. All right. Yep, still feels nice and soft. That's I was what just going to ask like you that. It. So you've hit, you hit one shot and that was a 
good solid strike, and I wanted to get if there's any difference in feel from T100 to T100S. Not too much. Yeah, yeah that was, that felt very close to the T100. <sighs> Just a little push. I was gonna say the last couple, you know, the first two with the T100S, it hasn't quite drawn back over compared to the other, well, both other clubs so that, far. That could be human error. Yeah, and I'm not saying that's the club. Yep. Well, that one wasn't a very good swing. Didn't sound like the cleanest contact. Maybe a tad thin. Yeah, just a tad thin. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that was a good swing. It might go in. Six thousand. Oh, Sixty nineteen. <laughs> it's pretty close. Oh yeah, that was ripped. That, that is all over it. Yep. Okay, so Thomas. Uh, you mentioned on the, the feel, there wasn't really much of a difference between T100 and T100S. Um, you have both clubs in your hand now. Is there, do you see anything visually that's different? I mean, do you look down and you see the loft difference? And do you, is there anything in terms of top line, blade length, anything that's different? Or is it just very similar? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time dissecting between the two of them, actually. Yeah, from, from looking down at it. I mean, is the yeah, it, sole size any different? Sole size looks the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically the same iron head. Yeah, I mean, the only difference is that little channel, kind of the muscle channel in the T100S. You yep. can kind of mm -hmm. see it's a little sort, sort of there. soft material in there that's a little bit uh, to add some juice to it and then the Diloft difference. But otherwise, it is pretty much the same club. Yep. Um, so we also, we kind of hypothesized that 6,000 RPM of spin would be where the T100S would fall, it was at 6131, so pretty close there. And then um, you can see on the map and also with the numbers too that it really did kind of split the difference distance-wise between the T100 and T200. So the carry on the T100S, 185.8. So it's kind of basically right in the middle of the other two. And then on the map as well, you can kind of see how that workability kind of came back a little bit more with the T100S. Some of your draws were kind of coming back more towards the target. For the T200, they left a little bit out to the right there. So um, I mean, it's kind of everything you'd expect, but it's just sort of mm -hmm. a good indication to, to the viewers, you know, if you're trying to, to figure out what's the difference between T100 and T100S, which one's better for me or which one's, you know, maybe one I should stay away relative to my game. Here's a little indication that it's probably five to six yards um, yep. carry distance, maybe a little bit less depending on the type of player you are. Um, and, you know, they, I mean, otherwise, visually, they're relatively the same club. That just that lot, that extra bit of pop on there will be a difference. It's just scientific evidence just showing that loft, how loft influences yeah. distance and how it influences the spin on the bowl. Right. Yeah. And I mean, you, you, again, we dropped about roughly 300 RPM of spin. I mean, and just the, it's a relatively, it looks the same club, but 300 RPM of spin can be a big difference on a windy day, things like that. So important for you, if you're a golfer that spins the ball a ton, I'm actually one that spins the ball a ton um, with my irons. You know, I would probably prefer T100S in this instance but um, a golfer that you know, maybe needs more spin or maybe needs the ball to stay in the air a little bit longer, that's where T100 would be a better fit for that golfer. Right, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, it looks very, very similar. I am having a hard time dissecting between the two of them. I was actually looking at the both of them. I was like, I don't even know which one is in my right hand mm -hmm. or my left hand. So <laughs> it, uh, it's, it's good stuff from Titleist, and I think it's going to be important to remember like T200 as well. Yeah. Combo sets. So T200 yeah. possibly in like your longer irons. Mm -hmm. We mentioned that T200 now has those two, three, four irons in there. Yeah. Uh, and then you can blend. You don't have to stay with T200 all the way through. You could blend it all the way through and Absolutely. have a little more workable club in yeah. your scoring cl clubs. Yep, you can kind of you know, manipulate the launch and the flight a little bit more with a T100S and have your T200 as a little bit more forgiving iron at the top of your set, a little bit easier to swing and easier to make good contact with. So um, I like what Titleist has done here. They've really 
Uh, I mean, they've done it every year. They've kind of had, you know, back when AP1, AP2, AP3, and then they kind of moved into the T-Series, but they're covering really every golfer out there, which is really cool to see, and that, of course, gives our fitters great opportunities to mix and match and um, really provide the golfer what exactly that person needs for their swing. So, um, speaking on that, golfers that are seeing this video, interested in any of the T-Series irons, um, of course, talk to Thomas, talk to any one of our master fitters at any of our five store locations or through our online fitting uh, team at secondswing.com. So Thomas, thanks for joining today. Uh, great stuff from Titleist, great stuff from you hitting the shots today as well. Um, this is great information here for golfers. And golfers, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now's the time to do so.